So the oil and gas industry is quite large second largest industry donor in his entire career, which again, this guy is a Democrat. Uh, they gave him over $700,000. You support the Green New Deal. Can you elaborate on the differences between you and your opponent in uh, regards to the climate, climate change, environmental issues, etc.? Yes, absolutely. So he is backed by big oil stations, companies like ExxonMobil, and he's protecting his buddy's interests again and is trying to perpetuate this myth that like, no, we're not ready. Um, I think the other spokesperson said Justice Cisneros is just trying to kill jobs. And oh. it's ridiculous that he's on trying to have his campaign here. No, we can't do this. No, you're going to lose your job. There's just, it's just impossible for us to be able to move to green energy. But the other day, I was driving through the valley and stopped by wind turbines because South Texas is already on its way to green energy. And if we have something like the Green New Deal, we're going to be able to make our transition into green energy a priority and we're going to invest so that we can have those jobs. So that people right now that are working in the oil field and have a seat to transition and responsibly be able to move towards green energy, get the training that they need so that they can go ahead, take part in the same job that we just need to make sure that we're going to invest in. And that's why we need to like the Green New Deal. It is possible. Si se puede. And while we are saying, well, we can't, our campaign is saying si se puede. And we're focusing on the workers and not the big oil car I just have a kind of more personal question for you as my last question. Um, you're a young woman, you're 26, right? Uh, you're a woman of color, you're a woman running uh, an, an unpo unapologetic progressive campaign. So you've seen the unreal amount of backlash, the amount of obsession, the targeting, the pressure that Representative Ocasio-Cortez has received. I think her progressive principles, in addition to her identity, play a real role in that kind of Fox News obsession element. Are, if you were to win, are you prepared for a similar kind of pressure? Because the media seems to be fixated on, you know, Ilan Omar, AOC, Rashida Tlaib, et cetera. I absolutely am. I mean, I came in, in here knowing what I was going to go up against. And as a woman of color, this something new. Growing up, I always faced um, disbeliefs, skepticism, criticism, because I thought I go high goals for myself, and I told myself I was going to be a strong advocate for my community because no one gave us anything down here. No one gives anything to the South, hardworking South Texas down here. So I'm used to, I'm used to hearing the criticism, the skepticism, and I'm also used to proving people wrong. Great. Well, if you want to learn more about Jessica or donate to her campaign, you can go to www.jessicacisnerosforcongress.com. I sounded like I was 40 years old, including the www, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying to age myself up here so we can, we can be taken seriously. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Have a great day, and thanks so much for talking to me, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you.